The Bible said, let him that walketh not, not eat. He that refuses to walk should not eat, says the scripture. I see many people today, they are confessing for harvest, demanding that heaven will release harvest for them. I want to ask you, dear listener, do you, have you seen a farmer that refused to sow during farming season? And on the day of harvest, he carried baskets going to his farmland because he's believing God. Do you have any seed in the ground? What is the seed you have sown into the ground that you are expecting for harvest? The Bible said that he that refuses to walk, let him not eat. And the Bible said that you should not be deceived because whatsoever seed a man sow, so he also will reap. What kind of seed do you have? Do you have any seed at all? There are many people who does not have any seed, who don't have any seed in the ground, even in the spiritual ground, and they are expecting for harvest. Jesus said that the kingdom of God is like a farmer that went to his farm and sow a seed. And he went to his home, sleeping and waking up and rising up and sleeping. Until the day of harvest, do you have any seed in the kingdom? What have you done in the kingdom that go before God and stand as a seed that you are expecting the return as a harvest? Do you have any seed? It's only a thief that will look for harvest when he has no seed planted into the soil. Do you have any seed? If the Lord will look right now and shake the history of your life and shake everything in the realm of the spirit, do you have any seed that will speak for you? Time has come that we stop deceiving ourselves and we must arise and do what the scripture said so that we will be ready, we will be ready for the harvest. Make sure you have seed. Stop, on, stop confessing. Go ahead and plant the seed and believe God for the harvest. Don't forget to like this message and to share it to many people. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Facebook page. May the good God be with you now and forevermore. Bye for now.